not long after the Battle of Sekigahara, during which Tokugawa Ieyasu consolidated his power over forces led by Ishida Mitsunari and loyal to his deceased rival, Hideyoshi Toyotomi. But a thorn continued to remain in his side. The name of that thorn was Osaka Castle. At that time, Osaka Castle was known as the largest, most formidable and most opulent castle of the time. And within those castle walls stood none other than Hideyori Toyotomi, son of Tokugawa's deceased arch-rival, Hideyoshi. Tokugawa had gotten Hideyori to agree to fill the moats around Osaka Castle, leaving it effectively naked from a military standpoint. But he was still fearful of the continuing support for the Toyotomi clan, and of one warrior in particular who was within the Osaka Castle walls, the legendary Sanada Yukimura, the Crimson Demon of War. Tokugawa had even gone so far as to secretly offer Sanada land to influence his loyalties, but the Honourable Sanada stayed loyal to Hideyori. Fueled by whispers of rebellion and the ghost of Hideyoshi, tensions escalated. Ieyasu, old but not foolish, gathered a mighty army, 160,000 strong, and descended upon Osaka, laying siege to the castle. The winter campaign was brutal. Cannons roared, arrows fell like rain, and bloody battles raged. Despite this, Osaka Castle stood strong, a beacon of resilience against the onslaught. The skilled defenders of Osaka Castle, led by Sanada Yukimura, were able to launch successful counter-attacks, which inflicted heavy losses on the Tokugawa forces. This effectively led to a stalemate that lasted into the following summer. However, as winter turned to spring, Ieyasu played his master stroke. He diverted the Yodo River, flooding the castle's outer defences. Hope began to fade within the castle walls. The final clash came in the sweltering heat of summer. Sanada Yukimura, a force of nature on the battlefield, led a daring charge that at least initially broke through Tokugawa lines, but he ultimately fell in battle. The remaining castle defenders continued to fight valiantly, but in the end, they succumbed to the sheer number of attackers. Osaka Castle was set ablaze by Tokugawa's forces. The end of the siege of Osaka Castle brought with it the deaths of both Hideyori and his mother, Yododono thus ensuring the complete eradication of the Toyotomi lineage as a potential threat to the Tokugawa shogunate. Both Hideyori and his mother, Yododono, committed seppuku, thus ensuring relative peace and stability in Japan for the next 250 years. And that brings us to the end of our tale about the siege of Osaka Castle. If you liked this video, please make sure and subscribe to our Samurai Odyssey channel. And until next time, sayonara.